G'day guys, it's Billy here from lostpressure.com.au. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and thanks for Now guys, look at this beautiful weathered rock, what these little sand dunes have unveiled. See the beautiful sand dunes. Now I'm just sweeping my metal detector magnet. And look at this. Beautiful old Aboriginal tool. Looks like to see maybe possibly a little indent there. Unsure, but it's big and it's heavy. <laughs> Don't know if it's a probably Aboriginal, I'd say, but it's nice sitting there for a thousand years. I don't know, but a long time just by looking at those cracks. Beautiful rock. Now guys, that's what you call freaking amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that piece of quartz. Look at that. Sitting in the sun, and all probably part of an Aboriginal tool. This place is the most magical place I've ever been in my life, guys. In my hometown. Dumbayong, Western Australia. Just walking, uh, guys, and look at this beautiful piece of quartz. Definitely an Aboriginal tool of some kind. You can even just see where it's been chipped, you know, to make the edges nice and um, sharp. That is absolutely beautiful. I've never seen a piece of quartz like that one before. It's like that Libyan glass, um, which is like a meteorite type glass. But that is absolutely beautiful. And just behind it, look, another piece. Look at that. Look at that. Can't complain about that, can you? Look at that. That is amazing. So we've arrived at the Aboriginal sacred site, guys. And like I say, no one, if not very, very few people, would know about this. I'm not going to reveal where it is. So we'll head over and I'll show you some of the Aboriginal rocks over near the Billabong. But these glass pieces of quartz. That is amazing. Never seen nothing like that. Reason being, guys, because a lot of these um, pieces of quartz could come from thousands of kilometres away. What would happen back in the Aboriginals, they would trade, you know, um, certain pieces of uh, tools with other Aboriginal tribes from the northern regions of uh, Western Australia. So it's just amazing how far this rock could have came to end up where it is now. You know, it could have come from 4,000 kilometers away you just never know but that is like I say guys I can't state enough I've never seen a piece of quartz like that before that is beautiful So this area here guys, as you can see, it's very sandy and windblown. This yellow sand so, here guys is quite common around my area. It's also good for finding uh, tektites and australites. And I haven't found any. But just here, already starting to see some Aboriginal fragments, tools and so forth. So I can just imagine what's buried underneath all this sand, because it's all 
wind eroded. Well guys, didn't expect to um, find any, well, I wasn't really looking for tectites, but here's a beautiful one here. Look at that. A beautiful tectite, and look at that, that's amazing. It's been used as an Aboriginal tool. You can see just there, where they've actually cut it to make a knife. That's absolutely amazing. Look at it, beautiful. From outer space, guys, hundreds of thousands of years old, Aboriginals have made it into a tool. Beautiful find. And this here, guys, looks like to be a snake track glistening in the sun. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful old grinding stone guys, just sitting here, what a beautiful find, you know, you can just see where they've chipped it and, you know, made it into a nice grinding tool probably to make flour or other uses, but that is a beautiful Aboriginal stone, look at it, absolutely beautiful.
Look at this beautiful grinding stone here guys. Absolutely beautiful as I always say. You can just see here where it's been used either to make fire by rubbing the sticks together or grinding seeds and so forth. A beautiful rock. An Aboriginal tool. Another Aboriginal tool just there guys. But these holes just here guys, what lives in them, in there is frogs. So it's a type of frog, probably a uh, western toadlet or maybe something different. Um, I could dig one up but I haven't got my shovel but I'd love to show you. So maybe next time I come out here guys we'll dig one of these up and we'll see what's in there. I'm gonna be Definitely a type of frog because it's right next to a little water spot and there's quite a few of them around here, probably about 50 I've seen so far. Well guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, add to your favourites and ask any questions and have a beautiful day. See you guys.